Hello and welcome to the second wall reinforcement getting started video. In this tutorial, we will start creating a new reinforcement configuration for the wall and we will have a closer look to common settings and external and internal reinforcement. If you are new to our software, please check the first wall reinforcement getting started video. First, let's have a look at the wall reinforcement configurations. Rewire configurations are located within the configuration menu. Let's navigate there. Configurations provide the capability to predefine the method and specifics regarding the distribution of reinforcement both inside and outside the wall element, as well as for L or T connections. For instance, you have the flexibility to specify how rewires are distributed around openings or windows and if additional reinforcement is required for L or T connections, simply add it as the rewires intuitively adapt to the wall shape. These are just a handful of numerous capabilities offered by this versatile plugin. Let's look at our dialog. Window is divided into three parts. The top part is a section where you create, save, rename, or delete configurations through a plugin. The left section contains a list of available rebar options, while the right-hand section is where users can input or configure specific reinforcement parameters. Let's create a new configuration, and we will name it Generic 200 as this is the thickness of our wall. We can start by configuring the common settings. In this section, you have the option to establish predefined minimal cover and rebar length, as well as minimal distance between bars. Minimal distance between bars will be applied to main bars or stirrups that has a defined spacing, and if wall end offset is set to one of the first three options. Additionally, you can manage partitions and the exclusion of inserts within the wall. By selecting this option, the tool will disregard any embedded wall details, allowing rewire to pass through them. Rewire covers are controlled with constraints in all the other settings, but for fabric sheets it is not possible to use constraints. Here you have the option to adjust the rebar cover settings, which will have an impact on fabric sheets. Enable this feature and select the rebar cover settings, which we're generating using native Revit. Once you have created fabric reinforcement, these settings will be automatically applied to the wall. Ensure that this value remains smaller than the exterior and interior cover values specified in the fabric sheet settings. Within the grouping tab, you have the ability to form rebar sets. By enabling this feature, rebar sets will be formed Otherwise, individual bars will be created. Let's select the option for external reinforcement. It's important to note that the key distinction between external and internal reinforcement lies in the positioning of the mesh. One is placed with the cover defined from the external side of the wall, while the other is placed from the internal side of the wall. All other settings remain identical. This dialog consists of three tabs – Vertical Rebar, Horizontal Rebar, and Covers. Distinct settings can be configured for Vertical and Horizontal Rebars. To include Vertical Rebar in the configuration settings, you must activate the Create Rebar option. Within the list below, you can specify settings including Rebar Type, Hooks at the beginning and end, Spacing, and the distribution method for rebars. Distribution options include starting from the start and end, individually from each side, or centered. Wall end offsets determine the space between the rebar and the wall's end. We will follow the same procedure for the horizontal rebar. In the cover tab, it's essential to establish the primary rebar direction and specify the covers from the external side of the wall. The rebar plane reference comes into play when the wall has been cut at the beginning or end, allowing consideration of different planes. 
In this section you can also configure top bottom offsets for vertical rebars and start and offsets for horizontal bars. In the upcoming video we will demonstrate how to include rebars around openings, windows and doors. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.